So we've now gone over straightening our axles, polishing the axle. We've gone over coning the head and uh, rounding out the outside head of the axle. So the last thing we're gonna cover, um, it's very, very important that you do this at the end of the process. Make sure that you're polished down to 3000 grit, um, that you've buffed this out with some, uh, some graphite that everything else about this axle is done and finished. This is a very, very last step that you're gonna do. We're gonna go back to our die, and I'm using the flat side of the die to pull that head in. Now, this is a secondary or an accessory piece. This is an axle bender. Um, when you look at this piece, there's usually two engravings. One side says 2.5, the other side says 1.5. Those are degree marks for either two and a half degrees or one and a half degrees that you want to try to bend the axles. Um, I generally find that a lower bend, the one and a half is more than enough uh, to get my wheels to ride on the outside of my, my axles like I want. So the way this works, I'm setting it on the, the 1.5 side and I wanna make sure that my head of my nail is completely clear of this. If you put the head all the way up when we set it, there's a good chance that we'll break the heads off of the nails, and I've done that a couple times. So I set that right where I, where I want it. I've got the nail seated in the groove, and then that whole assembly I'm gonna take back down to my floor. And this really doesn't take a lot of force. Um, I tend to go with smaller, lighter hits and do more of them. until, and you, you'll be able to feel it, because um, it's, it's not a lot, but you'll be able to feel that die kind of drop down and seat. And when that's done, we now have a bent axle. Now before I take it out of the jig, the last thing that I want to do, and it's very important, is I want to mark where up is on the head of that nail. Now that's gonna help me orient it when I go to put it into the car that I know which direction up is in my bend. Um, I have a, a little pair of axle pliers uh, that allow me to twist or turn that. Um, if you don't have a set of those, uh, it's a very, very good investment to have. Um, I'll show you what those look like in a later video. So that's it. Now you'll notice just barely that you can see a, a bit of a bend in that axle. So what that allows us to do when it goes in our car is our car, our wheels, instead of being straight up and down, they're actually gonna cant out a little bit. And that means as the, as the car runs, the tire is actually gonna be sucked to the top of the axle, which means our friction is gonna be right here around our polished axle head and the polished inside hub of our wheels, rather than having the wheel rub against the inside of the car. So this is just a stock wheel. There's no lubrication, there's no axles, there's no nothing in this yet. And we should be able to get at least about a 10 second run out of that without any lubrication. I think that's looking pretty good. Now when we finish up, I'll go ahead and I'll pack these uh, axle hubs full of graphite. We'll go ahead and we'll polish the inside of the plastic wheels with graphite. Um, I'll cover how to do that in a later video. And uh, we should be able to spin that and get about a 20 second count by the time we're done. That's, that's what I shoot for. If we can hit 20 seconds on a free spin, we know we've got very, very little friction in that wheel and that hub assembly.